Hey, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you a new tool from Google called the Google Earth Time Lapse. Google just announced this a few hours ago. It's actually an update to some of their other time lapse imagery that's been available for quite a while. With the Google Earth Time Lapse, you can go in and select one of these pre made time lapse animations let's say urban growth in Las Vegas, Nevada. And you can watch that animation and of course you can pause it. You can zoom in or zoom out on it as you would like, just like you can do in Google Earth or Google Maps. Let's take a look at another one here. We can scroll through and do a Columbia Glacier retreat. And the same thing happens again. We see that animation playback. But you can also go up here and search for other locations. Let's say I want to do Cape Cod, Massachusetts. You can just type that in. It's going to zoom over to Cape Cod. And it'll give me an animation that I can play back. A time-lapse animation that I can play back. Now, if I want to share that with my students, simply click on that icon up there. I can share that current view. And of course, I could post that link in my Google Classroom or what any other LMS that I want to use. Or I can embed that into my blog post if I'd like to or my web page. Now, time lapse imagery is really neat in that Google Earth engine. But you can also look at historical imagery in Google Earth Pro. Google Earth Pro is a desktop version of Google Earth. And let's say I want to look at Cape Cod. And we're located on it already. Up here in the top menu, We'll select show historical imagery. And then I can use the time slider to go back and look at previous imagery. Now some areas have imagery that go back further than others. Perhaps I'll look at San Francisco. San Francisco is one of the locations in Google Earth that has imagery going back quite a bit farther than many other places. In this case, we see 1938. And again, just move that time slider to change the imagery. So that's a couple of ways to look at time lapses and historical imagery through Google Earth. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.